Good morning. I have a meeting with the board of directors. You should be expecting me. Yeah. End of the corridor, last door on the right. Thank you. Unique, courtly, distinguished. These are the key elements to the image of the new collection. Also, quality takes over quantity in this case. With this new product line, we are aiming for the upper scale market. But you do understand that this watch design demands an extremely high level of manufacturing. We're talking incredible expertise to meet the superior characteristics depicted in this design. I'm aware of that, sir. Very well. Uh, find me a manufacturer that can handle the job, but remember, we can't afford any mistakes. I'll keep that in mind and get to it right away, sir. I'd like to see some manufacturing samples of this design uh, within, let's say, within two months. Based on your request, the 2D and 3D design and the technical drawing, the watch sample will be presented to you soon. And once the watch sample have been confirmed, the production will begin at the Mega Factory located at La Crabane, Thailand for the mold and blank making. Then the finished case blanks will be shipped to you to the Presico Factory and Fermain Factory for the rest of the production. Hello. Hello sir, this is Becky from Gordon C & Company. I would like to inform you that your request batch of watch samples has just arrived. That soon, huh? It's only been a few weeks. <laughs> they are ready for inspection in a Hong Kong office. Perhaps you could pass by later on today? Yeah, of course. It'll be my pleasure. Thank you. Overall, it's good. Very fine craftsmanship. And all of this in less than three months. Yeah, I was quite stunned as well. So you're telling me this is all in-house work? Design, mold, blank, lathe, even polishing are all in one manufacturer? Yeah, that's correct. And when I met with the Gordon C & Company representatives, they explained their production process to me very detailed. First, a professional design team at the Hong Kong office will provide the customer a series of design concepts. Then they will sketch out an elaborate 2D design based on materials or direction provided by the customer. After customer approval, this design is forwarded to the 3D design department at the Presico factory in Dongguan, China. The Hong Kong and mainland offices are efficiently in touch with each other through an optical fiber link, which allows fast data exchange and video conference between both headquarters. In the design department at the Presco factory, professional designers convert the approved 2D design into a detailed 3D model and 3D sample. After a second customer approval, this design is then sent to the engineering department. In here, professionally trained designers use advanced computer systems such as silicone graphics workstations and CATIA to convert the provided 3D watch design into a highly detailed and workable technical drawing. This detailed blueprint will also ensure the quality of the casing as a vital part of any high quality water resistant watch. After the final customer approval, this blueprint is then sent to the Mega Watch Case Factory in Lakabang, Thailand. A technical engineer will make the necessary adjustments in order to produce the customized molds for the blanking of the watch cases. The molds are repeatedly hardened through an extensive heat treatment process. Their hardness is also repeatedly tested this being necessary to ensure the life of the molds, but more importantly, the quality of the blanks. 
Tell me more about the machinery used for both the molds and the blanks. Of course, sir. For the manufacturing of the molds, the factory is equipped with the most modern machinery, including numbers of CNC milling machines as well as wire cut machines. The most modern and innovative thumbling machines have recently been acquired to improve the surface and usage life of the mold for the blank. The stamping department uses both Italian and their own developed machinery for the creation of the blanks. On top of that, only the finest Japanese stainless steel is used as the raw material for the blanks. Through technological innovation and the expansion of the machinery in the stamping department, the company is able to produce over 100,000 quality case blanks per month. One hundred thousand case blanks per month. Sounds good. One hundred thousand case blanks. That's a lot more than we need. I, I think they can handle our order. No, wait. I'd like to know more about them. Carry on. The finished case blanks are then shipped to the Presico factory in China, where its lathing department will continue the manufacturing process. In here, the complex yet crucial drilling and polishing process takes place. In the CNC center, which stands for Computer Numbering Control Center, a technician inputs needed formulas into a computer, which controls the cutting angle and force of the cutting instruments. Unlike conventional master cam and UG cam software used in most other factories, the CNC department is entirely equipped with the more advanced Gibbs cam software. The lathing department is equipped with the most advanced Japanese and Swiss made machinery, ensuring the efficiency and accurate manufacturing process. The cutting instruments are layered with a specifically formulated titanium carbide encoding, which resembles the hardness comparable to a diamond. Hence, these cutting instruments are exceptionally hard and precise. It is also worth mentioning the extensive usage of Swiss made tools, screws, and pins throughout the entire process. Yes, I've noticed this cutting is very fine. But the hardness alone doesn't explain how they get these curves so precise. That's right. But as you are obviously aware of, lathing is a very delicate process. Only very accurate lathing like this can hold the diamonds in a secure position. These quality machines can manage any cutting angle, be it vertical, horizontal, spinning, and even in depth and rotational. This makes them capable of working with the most complex and intricate watch case designs. Let's take the advanced 5-axis machines for instance. These machineries are able to tackle very complex designs since it can hold up to 24 cutting tools and has a working table that can rotate from 0 degrees to 110 degrees. This arrangement, which allows a part to be machined on five faces without reclamping, also reduces the number of clamping or setting up operations. On top of all this, it's worth mentioning that all the five axis CNC machines are equipped with a laser beam system, which checks and ensures the sharpness and quality of the cutting tools inside. It's through this technology that the most accurate cutting angle can ensure the diamond setting on the right position and appear a brilliant surface. At this very moment, the Presco factory is equipped with over 100 CNC machines. Special machinery is also available for the automated drilling of spring holes. So I would say that they definitely have no shortage in advanced drilling machinery. Indeed, indeed. They probably just meet our standards. I'd like to have some detail on their polishing methods. Well, inside the polishing department, trained employees use various polishing materials and techniques in order to achieve the acquired look for each collection of watch cases. The manual polishing that happens here demands experience and the know-how in which materials and special holding tools to use in order to achieve a specific look. This department has recently been expanded and modernized and can now hold up to 130 workers. The Swiss made motors with the speed adjustment program have now been introduced to the workshop. Compared to the more conventional manual techniques, the speed of these motors are more easy and accurate to control. Apart from the manual polishing, the company has also recently invested in highly advanced magnetic polishing machines. This state of the art equipment is applied for the polishing of the drilling holes for the diamond setting and uses a different polishing technique from the more conventional polishing machinery. 
There's also the drag finishing machine which makes use of walnut shell powder to make the product shine more. Their advantage is an increased efficiency while retaining the quality and beauty of the finished polished product. <laughs> no wonder. Yes, it all makes sense. If you explained to me about the drilling and the polishing departments, and they seem quite capable, but what about assembly? Any special surprises there? Crucial for any high quality wristwatch is of course the precise setting of the various diamonds and various gemstones. To achieve high precision and durability, the setting of the stones is divided into two assembly lines. First, the stones are divided and grouped into different categories, according to size and quality. Microscopic equipment is then used to securely set the smaller batch of diamonds. A line of experienced workers uses conventional yet precise methods to set the larger batch. It goes without saying that tight quality control is applied to both assembly lines in order to have a flat and equal surface in the setting of the stones. Before and after the setting of the stones, the watch cases are cleaned carefully in order to ensure the most optimal manufacturing circumstances. The cases are lowered into an environmental friendly cleaning solution which gets rid of any remaining and unwanted residue. Once this procedure is finished, the cases are then either forwarded to the diamond setting department or to the assembly department. The assembly department, as its name specifies, assembles all the parts into one complete watch case. Since the assembly of the various components is an equally important part of the manufacturing process, the same high standards are applied here. The first step in the assembly of the components comes with the application of the tubes to the various cases. In case of oval shaped watch cases, cams are made to guide the glue pin around the case edge. This heat treatment room also has a semi-automatic glue applying machine, as well as an ultraviolet light machine. The heat treatment process is fast, efficient, and only takes a couple of seconds to complete. Quality control measures on all parts before and after the heat treatment procedure also ensure 100% water resistance. The next step in this process is the assembly of the remaining components such as the watch dial, the cases, and the bands. This final stage in the assembly takes place in the Fumin plant, also in Dongguan. This department too is equipped with the finest machinery such as automated stem machines. It is also important to mention that strict cleanliness regulations are followed here in order to ensure the most precise functioning of the final product. Gordon C. & Company has also subcontracted assemblers in Switzerland that are responsible for the final assembly of different parts. Final assembly is thus carried out by a team of trained professionals which use, yet again, machinery of the finest quality, such as the German case openers. These openers are highly sensitive tools, specifically designed not to scratch the watch cases. Yes, indeed, it seems that efficiency is a key factor in the manufacturing process of this company. Automation and computerization can contribute to this, but I'm still convinced that even the most advanced machinery will never rule out the possibility of, of manufacturing mistakes. I hope they are aware of this, because I would not be pleased to find even the slightest mistake in the limited collection of luxury wristwatches. Your concern is very appropriate, sir. But I will explain to you that there is no need to worry. Gordon C. and Company, they put great emphasis on quality control measurements. Quality control not only consists of finding any manufacturing faults, it is equally important to prevent them. As I mentioned earlier, strict cleanliness regulations are followed inside the assembly department. Since the smallest dust particles can make even a high quality watch malfunction, it is essential to keep the work area dust free. After having put on their protective shoe covers, every employee must then pass through the clean room to become dust free. The clean room, which has met the Federal Standard 209, Class 100,000 consists of two sets of sliding doors. Between the doors is a dust returning system which blows off any dust particles from the body and then sucks it up through the returning system. Now knowing about the precautions taken, I'm sure now you want to know more about the actual quality control department. Throughout the various stages of the manufacturing, the watches are tested repeatedly to make sure they are water resistant. 
These tests are based on NIHS standards for water resistance control and make use of special Swiss-made water resistance testers. Various pressures can be applied within the chamber of these water testers. The air can then be drawn out of the chamber in order to discover any leakages in the watches. The watches can be tested in batches of 200. The pressure inside the container has the equivalent pressure of 300 to 400 meters underwater. Single, smaller water testers can be used to locate the exact point of leakage through the release of water bubbles. Every watch that passes these critical tests is then sent to the final quality control before leaving the Fumine and Presco factory. Each watch is individually inspected for material imperfections such as scratches or loosely secured straps. These quality control measurements therefore guarantee that every water resistance watch that leaves the factory is in perfect condition. Now, I also I want to explain to you one more thing. After the final quality control, the watches are sent to the packaging department. Before that, however, every unfinished watch and its components are stored safely and securely in a well-managed storage area. Gordon C. & Company has recognized the importance of good storage conditions since they allow for the most efficient and smoothest production process. A color-coded system, for instance, representing various functions is used to easily recognize and trace back various components. Although the entire factory is regulated by humidity control, some special components can also be stored in special humidity chambers in order to keep the materials in optimal condition. All materials are also recorded and stock information is immediately updated according to the flow of materials. This way, known as Enterprise Resource Planning System, can let the company always have the most current stock and production data at hand. I just happen to notice that the logo of our company is engraved into a curved area of the watch. Does this mean they've uh, contracted a laser marking company for this? No, no sir. Even the laser marking happens within the company. Gordon C. & Company has its own laser marking department equipped with several U.S. and French made laser marking machines. Laser technology is a very efficient and precise technique to engrave in company logos and serial numbers with the touch of a button. The logo sketch from the customer is first converted by a technician into a technical computer drawing. The completed drawing is then transferred to the laser marking system. When this is completed, it only takes a matter of seconds for a logo to be engraved on the product. The ability to engrave curved areas is only one of the possibilities of the laser engraving technique. In addition to simple characters, this laser technology also allows to engrave decorative patterns on the product. White on black topography, which guards against counterfeiting, can also easily be achieved through this. Thank you. Well, I've heard a great deal about the various processes the uh, high quality machinery and the quality control measurements. But what about the people? Tell me about the human resources department. Well, as in any good company, human resources plays a vital role. Gordon C. & Company puts great emphasis on staff development. It regularly sponsors further studies for its staff as well as overseas exchange programs. The company has specially designated areas for staff training in order to boost staff quality. The company's technical team has also been strengthened by several Swiss technicians who have used their professional expertise and knowledge for the further development of the entire manufacturing process. All these ensure that its employees possess the most up-to-date info, are aware of the newest technologies, and know about the latest industry developments. Hence, it's not a surprise that the company enjoys a tremendous employee loyalty. Many of the staff have been with the company for decades. So I think it's safe to say, and I, I hope you'll agree with me on this, sir, that this company is the all-in-all manufacturer that we're looking for. They can handle every step of the production process from start to finish in the most professional way. It's worth mentioning, of course, that this company puts great emphasis on confidentiality and assures full security on all parts of the watches throughout the entire manufacturing process. Gordon C & Company has proven before that they are more than capable of providing the world's leading brands with high quality watches. The company has received an extensive list of awards in the past, affirming and recognizing their highly professional standard in the watch manufacturing business. Awards include ISO Standard 9001-2000 awards and the first watch manufacturer to receive QMark CW001 award in Hong Kong. 
Last but not least, the founder and CEO of the company, Mr. Gordon Chow, has received multiple awards and has taken various honorary and consulting positions. His longtime management and innovative entrepreneur skills have positioned the company to where it is today. Well, I've seen the quality of the sample watches I received. I've followed your assessment of the factory with some interest, and I'm happy to inform you that I'm convinced of your discovery. I'm going to inform the board immediately that we found the best available manufacturer for our new collection. Thank you, sir. Thank you.